All right, this is uh, Dylan, Joe, and Chad here. We're uh, calculating beam deflection, modulus elasticity. So right now we're just going to measure the distance. Maybe the distance are more than that. It looks like we have 100 inches. Now we're going to measure the height. So when I stand on the board with my known weight, so 33.5, we can stand on it. And then Meyer's going to measure the distance, which we already had earlier, as I think the reflection, which we did earlier, came out to be 31 and 3 quarters. What should be able to stand on this? Which it could be a little bit different because we the tables have been moved and everything. So with our previous calculations, our beam deflection came out to be 1.75 inches, and we used that on our calculation page to calculate the modulus of elasticity of the wood, which we got 2.1 times 10 to the 6, so 2.1 million. And we use that in the next page to calculate the mass of Chad. Whoops, wrong page. The mass of Chad. And then we actually stood the board on edge to calculate the, to see if our calculated beam deflection, which we calculated using all our variables that we found earlier, to see if that would be the same as our measured beam deflection. So I'm going to try to stand on here and balance decent. If you want to measure it quick. So I think what we came out with before was 33 and an eighth, and it was at 33 and a quarter. So that tells you that the beam is much stronger and has much less deflection than it's vertically because the moment of inertia is much greater. And that's basically the beam.